to have a, a brand that's focused on fun uh, to, in this area, this environment of Moab. Um, what's, what's special about Moab is the trails, the open country, uh, a lot of family activity going on here, a lot of camaraderie. Um, it's just a great, peaceful, super week to do this. What we did this year, four, four concepts that are, uh, I think, wide-ranging in their appeal. Uh, first up is the, uh, the Grand Cherokee Overlander. Started with the Grand Cherokee, and usually those vehicles are dressed up in a lot of premium accessories, a lot of bright work. What we did here was we started with a, uh, a limited model diesel engine uh, and took all the bright work off of it. We put a winch in the front bumper. Uh, we lifted the vehicle, which is the first time we've done uh, an air spring vehicle where we've actually got it lifted for off-road duty. Uh, a little bit bigger tire. Uh, and probably the biggest surprise on it is there's a rooftop tent mounted to the vehicle. So up on top of it is a fiberglass hard shell tent. Uh, really easy to deploy. Two people can sleep in there. It's a really super package. It's, it's really uh, for the, the Overlander. Next vehicle up is really the Africa, which is a, a modified Wrangler. What we've done with the Africa uh, is really set it up for, it's kind of a safari themed vehicle. Uh, what's special about it is the, the, the back of the vehicle is about 12 inches longer, it's a foot longer, about 4 inches higher. We've slid the spare tire underneath the vehicle and then opened up the cargo area. It's massive back there uh, and that's really a response to we see people putting racks, they're carrying more stuff on their vehicle. They're actually asking for a little bit more room. So the Africa is really a dedicated the, the roof is always bolted to it. It's not, or it's not removable like we do on a, a normal Wrangler. Beyond that, uh, it's up on steel wheels, 35 inch tires, a winch, uh, but really set up for uh, a safari. Next vehicle up is the, uh, the staff car. Staff car is really, it's a neat trick. Um, it is a brand new 2015 Jeep four-door Wrangler, Grubukan, that we have made look authentic like a legit 1940s Army military service vehicle. Uh, we did this by pulling all the doors off. We, we moved the B-pillar back a little bit. It's lifted uh, about two inches with uh, the NDT tires, which are specific for the military. A uh, little bit higher roof. It's the canvas style roof and a lot of military accoutrement to it. Uh, the, the whole vehicle is painted in this great flat brown uh, and it just to me, it's, it's amazing how legit it looks. It's not an army vehicle, but it really looks like something right out of the 40s. Um, that, that's a neat trick to do with a brand new vehicle to make it look that old. Uh, right after that, the next vehicle up is probably the star of the show, the, the Chief. The Chief is a, it's built out of a uh, Wrangler four-door, but it's made to recall the uh, 1970s uh, SJ, full-size Cherokee two-door. Uh, we did that by altering quite a few body panels on it, uh, and it's got this sort of surfer theme to it. The interior's done up in this wonderful uh, hibiscus flower and white uh, interior. The exterior is this very bright blue, uh, slotted mags on it, open air to the back, and it's got a little bit of a, a great surf theme to it.